Hey everyone, it feels more like summer for this afternoon. Yes, we had a very nice cool morning, but not for this afternoon as high temperatures will reach the mid 90s in some spots. And just like yesterday, some places will most likely see record breaking heat again for today. Clear skies the case right now in the satellite picture. It stays sunny for the rest of the day. And look at the temperatures right now. 95 in Edinburgh, 93 McAllen, 89 Rio Grande City, 92 here at the station, 91 in Harlingen and 90 in Raymondville. The winds right now out of the south anywhere from 15 to 23 miles an hour. We've got some wind gusts out there, 28 in McAllen and Port Isabel and 25 in Westaco, and it should stay breezy as well for this afternoon. So if you have to be outside this afternoon, please be careful and take it easy and drink lots of water. Also slap on the sunscreen. A lot of sunshine throughout the day. We're up to 95 here in Westaco. Up into the upper 90s in McAllen, triple digits in Rio Grande City, 84 at 6 o'clock this evening. At least it's going to be a little bit cool for tonight under mostly clear skies. We're down to 73 at 9 p.m. All right, let's talk about Fiesta Edinburgh. Still a hot one for tomorrow, mostly sunny with a high temperature of 95, but a weak cool front arrives. Friday night, so we're back into the mid 80s for the high Saturday and Sunday under mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. This will be a dry cool front Friday night into early Saturday morning. So the reason for this hot weather, you guessed it, we've got those winds coming off the mountains in Mexico, and as that air descends off the mountains, it compresses and warms, and that why it was, that's why it was hot yesterday, and that's why it's going to stay hot for today as well as for tomorrow. We have a front draped to the north of us over Oklahoma and New Mexico, and behind it, People are shoveling snow in places like Colorado and Nebraska. Where's all the cold weather behind that front? It is 21 right now in Winnipeg, 31 in Bismarck, 26 in Rapid City, 37 in Minneapolis, 26 in Billings, 31 in Salt Lake City, and 29 in Denver. I know it's hot out here in the valley, but I'd rather have hot weather here than be freezing and shivering with temperatures up in the north in the 20s and 30s. So here is future track. It stays hot for today and hot for tomorrow. One front passes through tomorrow night. It's a weak dry front. It's going to be cooler for tomorrow night into Saturday morning, slightly cooler for Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon with high temperatures back in the lower 80s. Then it warms up again for the start of next week, Monday and Tuesday. Front number two should arrive here in the valley by Wednesday. That may give us a slight chance of some showers and then once again cooler by next Thursday into Friday of next week. On the water, small craft should use caution for this afternoon. We'll have winds from the south at 15 to 20 knots. The bay waters are moderate chop. Your next tide is a high tide at 3.37 p.m. And the seas are two to four feet. Your forecast for today, there are the key words. Record heat possible, still breezy and hot with a high temperature of 95. And then for tonight, at least it's going to be cool, even mild, mostly clear with low temperatures dipping into the mid 60s. So we have another day of hot weather tomorrow, a high temperature of 90 in West Lico, mostly sunny and hot. The front comes in tomorrow night. We're down to 57 Friday night. The highs are back to the lower 80s for Saturday and Sunday. Mostly sunny skies are on tap Sunday, partly cloudy and breezy for Sunday. We warm up into the upper 80s on Monday, lower 90s on Tuesday. Then that second front comes in on Wednesday. At this point, we're going to put in about a 10 to 20% chance of some showers. That's your first one five forecast. Now here's Dina.